Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Trek Ken. So, today I wanted to talk a little bit about children and kids in space on Trek. So, the reason why I decided to talk about this was because um, Prodigy. I was looking at Prodigy and I was like, wow, you know, we're sending kids into space again. That never works out well, you know. So, I wanted to kind of go off a little bit of memory about um, some of the things that, some of the reasons why it's never a good idea to have children in space with you, you know. Um, so, just a little bit of backstory. Children on Starfleet vessels didn't happen until the next generation, all right? And if you think about the particular time and what was going on in canon at the beginning of the next generation, Earth was a paradise. Uh, there wasn't really any major conflicts, major wars going on. They had formed an alliance with the Cleons during the Kittermore Accords. Uh, the Romulans wasn't the Romulans wasn't really uh, a big factor at the moment. They didn't really come into it until uh, uh, colony colonies started getting snatched up on the borders and everything like that. So Earth was pretty much, like I said, a paradise. There was um, nothing much really going on. So they decided to put kids and families on these galaxy class vessels and things of that nature so that on these five-year missions, on these long voyages, the crew want, um, the crew can still stay productive, all right? They won't be spending time missing their families and their families missing them and all that kind of stuff. So during the course, over the course of the next generation, these Space Nine voyages, stuff like that, we started to see why it's not a good idea to have kids in space. And even before then, uh, even before they started putting kids on ships, they were putting kids in uh, colonies or having kids in colonies and stuff like that. And again, didn't work out too well. So what I wanted to do is just give a few examples of what I was talking about. Now, one of the earliest that I can remember is and the children shall lead. It was a it was a uh, original series episode, and uh, it took it takes place on this planet Triacus, and basically when the Enterprise people being down, the Kirk and his guys being down, uh, it was basically everybody was dead, and it was kids playing amongst the dead bodies of these adults. All right, kind of find out the kids had got influenced by a very powerful entity that got his, that that was fed from what he was doing with these kids and uh, basically influenced them to kill their parents, everybody on the planet. And um, they tried to do the same thing on the Enterprise on route to another planet to do this. But of course, Kirk, you know, opened their eyes. But these were all little kids, you know, can, and can you imagine that, you know, so, and then the realization that, hey, I'm responsible for killing my parents, you know? So that's one of the earliest that I can remember. One of the next that I can remember would probably be Miri from the original series as well. Uh, Miri, M-I-R-I. -I. Now, the thing that was going on there was that Miri takes, uh, the episode Miri takes place on Earth 2. As a matter of fact, it's, I think it's the only other planet ever in Star Trek that has been, had the designation of Earth. Okay, so this was Earth 2, all right, that this episode Miri takes place on. And what's going on there is that basically um, growth is slowed to like, you know, a lot of people was like, hey, you know, Miri and Kirk, you know, and him trying to hit on, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's statutory and all this. Miri was way older than Kirk as far as years ago. Her body style, she looked like a 15 year old, but she was a few hundred years old. So I don't know why people really be going into that because um, that's strange. But what was going on there was that there was a pathogen that was indigenous to this world that as long as you was not in puberty, you was fine. Once you hit puberty though, you get all of these skin lesions and everything and you die. All right, so this planet basically was inhabited by kids, just running around old as all outdoors, but still kids, you know? And um, I guess the next one would be 
Charlie, good old Charlie X, good old Charlie X. Now, there are certain kids in Trek that were lost or abandoned or were thought dead, but entities, extraterrestrial entities, kind of scooped them up and tended to them and, and um, made sure that they were okay. Charlie X is one such an individual. Um, if you want to think about another one would be what the uh, what the Telosians did with the young lady that they found and, re and really didn't know how to put her back together. All right. So these types of things usually happen in track and stuff like that. So uh, Charlie X is another one. Charlie X was found by some, uh, I wouldn't say omnipotent beings, but they were near omnipotent and they taught Charlie how to use his abilities. But because Charlie was a kid and having these abilities, it kind of messed him up as far as um, right and wrong and everything like that. Because why have morality when you are basically almost a god? Okay. So they had to basically deal with that too. All right. Now, hell, one of the, one of the people that you guys should really know off the bat, Annika, seven or nine. All right. Let me tell you what her bright parents decided to do. They decided to go and uh, basically investigate the Borg, which is fine. You know, you're gonna, it's going to be some problems, but they decided to go and investigate the Borg, but take their daughter with them, Annika. And you see what happened to her. All right. So let's talk about the eugenics kids from the episode Unnatural Selection from uh, The Next Generation. I think that was a season two episode. Now, it was a season two episode because it featured Dr. Pulaski. But think about what was going on in, in a natural selection. So, first of all, eugenics experimentation is illegal in the Federation. So I don't know how these doctors uh, and scientists in this episode got away with doing what they did. But think about it for a second. They engineered, I think it was like five or six uh, kids, all right, and because of their mistake, these kids have to live the remainder of their lives in isolation on a space station, right? Because if they come in contact with anybody, it was severe. Their immune system would severely and rapidly age humans, so they can no longer ever have any contact with humans. Why? Because some scientists decided they wanted to experiment on some kids. And now these kids are forever, ever isolated. I, you know, I really wish that they would have uh, went into whatever happened to those kids. Did they ever go back? You know, was they trying to, were they, um, did they give them any types of supplies or did they routinely check in on them? That was something that was never, ever explained. You know what I mean? So the only thing I could think of is that those kids died on that space station, you know? So think about um, think about when a bow breaks from the next generation as well, where um, I think that was a, a season one episode two, where they come up on this planet that was mythical, highly advanced, and what they decided to do was just straight kidnap everybody off the Enterprise that was kids, and it was nothing that the Enterprise could do, you know. So think about that. You know, you just sit in your class and. Or you at work and you know you you think your your, your child is in class and you get a message from the captain saying hey well they didn't get beamed off of the uh, off the ship and um, they want to just give us some information you know give us some high speed technological information and everything and as a compensation for our kids and um, they say nothing we could do about it you know if we attract, if we try to do this again we're gonna get sent so far away that the kids are gonna be grandkids I mean uh, grandparents by the time. They get back, you know. So there are a lot of examples in Star Trek where they didn't think taking kids into space through very well. Okay, so I just wanted—I didn't want to make this a you know one of my longer videos, but I just kind of wanted to go into: Is it a good idea to take kids into space, or into spaceships, or into colonies, and everything like that? I understand the reasoning and a thought process behind it, but is it a good idea? Is it? I mean, really? Is it? So anyway, please subscribe if you haven't. 
leave a comment, ring the bell for any type of new material. And as always, peace, recycle, and save the whales. You guys be cool.